Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for tuning in to Tour Swing Tuesday. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So, hey, if you're a new subscriber, welcome. Great to have you along. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hey, do so. These videos, I think, can help you a lot. They may be a game changer for you. So up here, we have Louis Oosthuizen, obviously played tremendous golf at the U.S. Open, and he has his pattern lately of playing tremendous in the majors. And so we're going to take a look at his swing. And then at the end, I want to talk about the process of improvement. I think some really important stuff that'll help you. Okay, now I'm not going to draw my typical lines and circles because this camera moves a little bit. And so it throws it off a little bit. So uh, to that point, when you send me your video, which I love doing, just had one from the Bay Area send one over and Sam Fran, I want to see two frames or two shots, one down the line like this one and one face on with a still camera. Very important. You can do that. Just contact me. We'll have a phone consultation and we'll get you going the right direction. Okay, let's take a look at this motion. Very beautiful setup. A little flex in the knees, not back on the heels, on the balls of the feet. Very important. Arms hang down nice and relaxed. I don't like to see high hands. Typically like to see this. Let's take this into motion. Beautiful tempo with him, right? Never hurried. As he goes back, putting that club right in the catcher's mitt, right? Nice and wide. Kind of familiar position there on the hand line. Turning to the top. Remember, your backswing is mostly just a rotary motion. Not swaying. Not kicking out the lower body. And now what a beautiful position here. He gets to the top, right? Club down the target line, right? Just wonderful. Now, a slightly open position. 45 degrees would be pretty standard. Um, but I want to show you something here. Maybe I haven't mentioned too much. And I'm going to draw a line here because we do have a static a motion on the fly. So uh, if you look at his hand line right there, where his hands are, they're very deep, right off his right heel. So that means the club's gotten around in a position to return the club from the inside. Sometimes I'll see people kind of lift the club up, never get the club behind them in a sense. And as a result, they come over the top, they swing outside in. No, he's in a great position here. Slight flex in the knees. Beautiful. Okay, now as he starts down, and let's just take that little line out there. We don't need it for now. And uh, so he starts down, right? Lower body initiating, driving and rotating, club coming down on a shallow angle of attack, right? Bisecting that upper arm. Now, let me say this too. A lot of people that don't swing on a good angle of attack like this from the inside have an open club face at impact. Thus, in a sense, they have to swing outside in or the ball is going to go right to right. If they swung from the inside with an open club face, no good. That's a push cut way out, right? So that's always something you want to work on, your path and your face together. This is great. He likes to draw the ball, and you can see that he's in a position to draw the ball. Club inside the hands. Very good position right here. Right foot releasing, Right. And into impact, you know, just a beautiful position, right? Hips rotating out of the way, shoulders realigning, just excellent. The only thing that's a little bit odd, I see it a lot of players, I'm not crazy about it, but gosh, this guy's doing just fine without me, is his left heel, if you watch here, is airborne and his right heel. So I prefer the left heel to stay down. I think it gives you more stability. You can lose your balance a little bit if you don't keep that heel down. But if you hit a 1,000 balls a day like these guys do, you can make this stuff work, right? Idiosyncrasies are all part of somebody's golf swing. Don't have to be perfect. Progress, not perfection, right? Okay, so let me talk now about the process of improvement. A couple really important things. Number one, work on what's worst first. So if you finish your round, and I love to see people keep stats, see how many putts you had, for instance. If you had 42 and six three putts, just go work on the putting green. Not enough people do. Work on what's worse first, okay? The next thing is, um, and this is anecdotal, I was teaching somebody the other day, and he was struggling with his game, and I said, let's take a look at your swing. Guess what? Same thing's going wrong. His head's moving too much, and his grip was too weak. He said, you told me that two months ago. I said, John, you're still doing the same thing. What's the point? Good players work on a few things. A lot of times, poor players work on a lot of things a few times. Don't do that. Keep it simple. Have fun. More information, Gary Bates Golf Academy on Facebook. Hey, subscribe right there. Join this community. Give us a thumbs up. We'd love to have you a part of this, this organization. Thank you. God bless you. See you next time on Torch Swing Tuesday.